All right, everyone, we start off today talking about Hillary Clinton, her uh, comments, link in the description, not archived, this is just a Twitter post, actually, x.com. Uh, Hillary Clinton coming out and suggesting that people should get uh, jail time, actually, um, for spreading disinformation. Now, what disinformation is depends on, it's basically in the eye of the beholder. Uh, it's anything that the government doesn't want you to know, uh, doesn't think is right. Sometimes it's genuine. Sometimes anti-propaganda networks uh, will actually correctly identify that something is, you know, it's created by a foreign state actor to sow discord or something. Most often, though, it's literally just free expression and nothing more. So it's simply people exercising their First Amendment rights. And here we have Hillary Clinton, one of the bastions of the Democratic Party, saying that people should be prosecuted for exercising that free expression. Like, let's say, for example, let's say that uh, Russians sow disinformation online and somebody replicates it. They believe that it is actually real. Uh, they genuinely believe that and they post it. Uh, why should they get in trouble for that? It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. By the way, who cares? It's still free expression. Even if they know that it's disinformation, it doesn't matter. We have the right to speak our minds. We have the right to express ourselves as Americans. We're citizens. We're not subjects of a crown. We're not subjects of some dictator. Although the Democrats keep telling me Trump is trying to be a dictator over a system that fucking hates him, by the way, which, again, makes absolutely no sense in the world whatsoever. Hillary Clinton doesn't appear to understand the Constitution. This does not surprise me. She has a long track record, along with many other liberal politicians, of not understanding the Constitution. The right to free expression, the right to bear arms, the right to privacy, the state's rights under the Tenth Amendment. Um, most of the time they seem to ignore that. It's like uh, with the abortion issue, for example. This is fundamentally a Tenth Amendment issue at this point. Uh, SCOTUS, you know, ruling is binding. Uh, you know, the ending of Roe v. Wade they seem to think that the federal government should come in and pass a law in order to, you know, unrestrict abortion in every state. The GOP has uh, still stolen the defeat from the jaws of victory, though, by countermanding that. And a few of them are like, well, we, yeah, we need a federal law against abortion. Uh, that's a bad idea, too. Uh, fuck yourselves. Uh, you can all, uh, you know, go fuck off. Hillary Clinton doesn't appear to understand the basic tenet of the First Amendment and why it's so important. This actually is a little bit of a doppelganger of Dianne Feinstein back in the day. This was God. It must, must have been 2010 or something like that. In fact, it might have been earlier. It might have been in the 2000s. She made some crazy statement where she was like, well, bloggers shouldn't really be protected under the First Amendment. They're not members of the press completely ignoring the right to free speech and expression in favor of only fixating on that one aspect of the First Amendment. It appears that Hillary Clinton has basically gone down the same road. Now, is she politically relevant? Not in the general sense. Um, Hillary, the, the, the Clintons are on their way out with regards to politics. Does she still have some control within the Democratic Party? As we saw with the court intrigue, with regards to Biden and Harris, yeah, the Clintons still have some sort of weight within the party. Part of this is they're owed favors, part of this is they have a lot of money, and part of this is that, you know, Bill Clinton's a former president, Hillary Clinton's a former first lady, slash senator, slash secretary of state. So they're clinging on to power. And I have a feeling that this is more to get attention than anything else. I don't think it was more of a serious suggestion. Uh, than anything else. I, I, I think that it was more, you know, hey, uh, I'm still here. I still exist. I'm still politically relevant. But it's still uh, an attack on free expression. The idea that people should be prosecuted because they spread disinformation uh, is absolutely ludicrous. It's also completely unconstitutional. I have the right to say nonsense. I have the right to say things that the government disagrees with. I have the right to say things that you disagree with, and sometimes I do. When I weigh in on certain issues, hell, I run up against my own audience. Still my right to say my mind, um, and I'm going to continue to do so. And to Hillary, I mean, if you attempt to actually prosecute people um, for 
so-called disinformation or something like that, uh, you're going to end up with some fucking problems because people aren't going to tolerate it. Even if you did manage to successfully pass such a bill, and you probably wouldn't because you're probably not going to have control of the Senate at the bare minimum over the next election, um, it, people would ignore it. Um, we're not going to become like the old world. Um, this is literally an old world side, style sort of thing. Like in the UK, or in, let's say, Egypt, or Indonesia, some of these other countries. You can be prosecuted if you say anything that the government disagrees with. So you're allowed to speak your mind. No, you have free expression, as long as that expression is something the government deems appropriate. That's the old world model. The new world model is you have the right to express yourself and express things that the government doesn't agree with and thinks is wrong. And you should not be penalized in any way, shape, or form for having done so. If anything, we need to go in the opposite direction and pass an Internet Bill of Rights. I agree with Donald Trump on this. Reform Section 230, you're either a publisher or a platform, no government control over big tech and stuff like that, and an Internet Bill of Rights to ensure that at least within the United States, people are allowed to speak their mind. This is the right way to go. It's literally like a, it's almost like a little bit of a, a tech revolutionary war, so to speak. We've got two forces, and, and most expression takes place online at this point, let's face it. It doesn't take place in real life. You've got two schools of thought, technically three. The Eastern Bloc is everything should be highly centralized, totally controlled. You can only parrot what we want you to parrot. The European model, the other old world model, is, well, you've got free expression within our parameters, within the ones that we have determined are appropriate. The new world model is, fuck you, cunt. That's basically uh, the long and short of the internet, by the way. And so the whole fucking point is to allow expression that would normally not be allowed. And so, yeah, there should be more encryption, there should be more VPNs, there should be more free speech. Uh, I mean, uh, a lot of you uh, are too young to remember the internet as it was in like the uh, early 2000s, stuff like that. I can. I was on the internet very early, um, only at the uh, library, of course, uh, and Woodstock is a small village, so uh, it took a little while. Uh, it was available to the rich people before it was available to me. But I can remember how edgy it was. It was entirely different from how it is today. You could find literally anything, everything was exciting, um, you could say whatever the fuck you wanted, basically. And also, there were plenty of workarounds for censorship on sites. These days, everything is more highly centralized and much more controlled. When, when people tell you, well, the internet has become too edgy, your kids are in danger, dude, it is nowhere near as edgy as it was in 2003. Trust me, it's not even nearly as edgy as it was in 2012 or thereabouts. Um, there is no danger. Hillary Clinton is fundamentally wrong. Not only do we not need to prosecute people for having the wrong opinions, what we need to do is prosecute the politicians presenting the idea of prosecuting other people. What we need to do is throw these people in jail. They're the ones that are the problem. Uh, who causes the war? Some random YouTuber or people like Hillary Clinton? Let that sink in for a moment. That's about all. Peace out.